I want to speak to Louis kidogo. Louis mko wapi? Ebu tu evaluate kitu vizuri. Between Kenya Kwanza and Azimio One Kenya, which one is the best fit for Louis at this time? Francis Atoli, he orchestrated uh, the removal of Musalia Mudavadi as the Louis spokesman and instead he put Wycliffe or Paranya. So as the Louis spokesman, where was Wycliffe or Paranya when Timothy Wanyoni was being robbed of the Nairobi gubernatorial uh, ticket? Where was he? I did not hear his voice. He did not speak. When people are dishing out positions of power, for example, we know that the Azimio chair will be from Mount Kenya, the president. We know that uh, the, the running mate will be from where? From Mount Kenya. We know that the Nairobi gubernatorial candidate in Azimio will be from where? From Mount Kenya. When all these ne- positions were being negotiated, where was the lawyer spokesman? Where was Francis Atoli? What are you getting in this coalition? Honestly speaking, I do not see you anywhere on the table. Anywhere. All I see is Francis Atoli in Kilifi eating as much as he can. Let us look at Kenya Kwanza. What are lawyers getting over there? Musalia Mudavadi will become the prime cabinet secretary, which is kind of like the position of the, pro, of the prime minister. Are lawyers going to get a, such a high position like that in Azimio and Kenya? No. Remember, Gideon Moy is pushing for the position of uh, chief minister. And if Kalonzo Misoka does not get the runmate position, he'll get the position of chief minister. Lawyers are nowhere in the equation. Let us go to now the, the other position. Moses Wetangula is going to get the Speaker of the National Assembly. That is number three in the line of succession, succession in the country. If the president dies, the deputy president takes over. If he also dies, the Speaker of the National Assembly takes over. Number three in the nation for lawyers. Number one among cabinet secretaries. That is the first among cabinet secretaries goes to lawyers. Is there such a good deal for lawyers? In Azimio and Kenya? No, there is none. Let's go to the positions of government. Uh, Moses with uh, ANC and Ford Kenya are going to get 30% of the government. Imagine, and they just came the other day. Remember, DP Ruto had his own team before uh, Moses Wetangula and Musalia Mudavadi came into the fold. His own team from the lawyer community and they will get something so it means that in essence lawyers might get 30 percent or a little over 30 percent of whatever is in government do you see how much they are getting contrast it with the, contrast it with what uh, people are getting in azimio and kenya there are rumors that the president will get 40 percent of government imagine 40 percent of government for what he will deliver a minimum number of votes from Mount Kenya. But lawyers will deliver a lot of votes for the former prime minister. And what do they get? They don't get uh, the deputy president. They don't get the chief minister. And they don't, they don't get 40% of government. So what are you doing over there? Lawyers, you need to sit down and talk. You have followed the former prime minister from time immemorial. I can't even remember when you were not uh, in line with him, perhaps because I'm young. But you have never benefited from that, from, from it. All you have done is kumsaidia kwa negotiations, no apate kiti. It is time that you rethink those stands. It is time that you see. Musalia Mudavadi is a very good economist. And he has a very good chance of becoming president. You need to support Musalia Mudavadi. Be, go behind him. Ensure that his term as a, as a prime cabinet secretary is successful. Ensure that he can perform his duties. And that... And that is the greatest chance for lawyers to become 
uh, for Aluya to become president. If you keep following Francis Atwoli, you go behind him. Who does he have? Who is he grooming to become president? Aluya president. There is nobody. He's only thinking about himself. So that when he closes the beach in Kilifi, he is safe. When people have questions over NSSF, he is safe. When people have questions over Kotu, he is safe. He's thinking about himself, not about the community. So it is time for lawyers to reevaluate. I, personally speaking, I uh, support uh, DP Ruto in the sense that he will, he's, a, he's a tool to help us to get rid of the, of the current dynasties, right? But in terms of policy, in terms of economic policy, I support Musalia Mudavadi. And I sincerely hope that he can implement his economic policies and then use them as a platform to campaign for the presidency after DP Ruto. And I'm ready to support that. What about you? As a lawyer, why do you support a side where you are getting nothing? Why are you supporting a side where you are only helping a fat man grow fatter? Reevaluate your stance. The policies that Musalia Mudavadi has is benefit all Kenyans. So support him. The position that he has, the first among cabinet sectaries, he will not get that in Azimio. No lawyer will get that in Azimio. He is the best path to a lawyer presidency. All you have to do is to make sure that he represents all lawyers and all Kenyans, and his policies do that. They will help all of us. And I can admit that. Of all the people that are there, of all the top leaders that are there, Musalia Mudavadi has the best policies. 